you're gonna get. So Raven's Home, episode five. It's called You're Gonna Get. Wait for it. And we're gonna talk about what happened in the episode. Now, this episode, as I always do, I'm gonna give the grade out in the opening first. And it's a uh, seven out of 10. So this is just on par to two episodes ago. Episode three. No. Tess wasn't in last week's episode. And I was so happy. But she was in this episode. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. But this, in this, she was just back to episodes one and two. And annoying me to hell. She was acting like Sam, of course. And she was somewhat acting like Kimmy. In terms of matching. Like, wait for it. She was actually acting like Joey. From friends, you know, that really want they with Ross and Rachel, you know, that 10 year storyline. You know, they say, um, Tess is going through Raven's fridge. I'm just like, you see, Joey now is Joey the uncle while T Sam and um, Kimmy are the mother. And Tess is, you're not funny. I, I think I actually laughed at one joke at her in this episode, I can't remember. Yeah, I did. I just can't remember specifically what scene it was. Um, also, in the, I think I said in episode 3, or was it 4, that I would like to see the kids, you know, in school more. And they did. And actually, those, this whole episode took place in one day. On a Tuesday, by the way. And basically, the episode is about, you know, should you wait, should you wear makeup? Should you not? You know, you, you're perfect the way you are type stuff and I think it was I don't think they addressed the makeup part like you don't really see you saw Nia the episodes are pretty the episodes are pretty much about Nia you know she she wanted to wear makeup even though she's not old enough yet but you know she thinks she's old enough I don't think you're old enough for anything until you're like 16 in my personal opinion maybe even 17 but yeah, Nia, at the beginning of the episode, was putting on makeup, and Raven says, what are you doing? You don't need makeup. And she says, I mean, she says, she ends up sneaking behind Raven's back, you know, heads off to school, wearing makeup. And she ends up getting noticed, just like Tess. <sighs> I'm calling you Tess, I can't believe that. So, why well, I'm calling you Tess, because it's, it's getting boring just calling you Sam or Kimmy. But anyway, Nia, um, Nia and Tess is um with the big kids. You know, they're sixth graders. I said, you're sixth grade? I thought you were seventh graders. But anyway, they're hanging out with the big kids, the eighth graders. And it's like, we're popular now. We're popular. And, you know, this only lasted for a day, like I said. Um, what else going on in that episode is Raven. You know, dealing with her own. She's doing her own fashion job. You know that that's continue on. We saw the the boss and the assistant again. Now I told you they was gonna be back. Um, she went there for a dog thing, but we never see. We never saw Raven put on the clothes for the dog. So what happened? They immediately just dropped that. But since um, Raven's been working for the um, the girl for about three years now three and a half and she's always told um raven raven she's always told her boss that her kids were actually dogs you know nia and booker were always was always dogs because the reason she um said that because she was facing a younger fashion designer and she didn't want to um you know lose the job now maybe or maybe not but I would like to see that um, um fashion designer she was facing. You know, what if that was the daughter to one of um, I know there was uh, another fashion designer in the original series, or maybe not. I you know watched the show in a while, so I could be wrong. But yeah, um, another storyline that's happening. 
you know, inside the school is um, Booker and um, my my second favorite character in the show, Levi. You know, is that nobody likes Levi. Not that they don't, they don't like him. Actually, no. Yeah, they don't like him. And they don't talk to him. It's because it's just like, you're not raising. Nobody picks him. For, um, everybody picks him last. Or they don't even, like, pick him. They just like, well, you got to join my team. I mean, and, and this was Dodgeball. <laughs> Raven has a good fan Dodgeball, right? Yeah! So Booker ends up skipping lunch and ends up um, helping him because Booker had a vision that um, that somebody or some bodies gonna throw dodgeball at him, throw dodgeballs at him and kill him. Station mark here. And but what ends up happening it was that it was Booker. You know we got that paradox. You know and just by, by the way, I would like to know where. Booker's visions come from because remember in the original show towards the end of the, the um, show ending like we somewhat got to know where Raven's visions was coming from yeah so and that was my favorite episode of that show by the way cheap plug um so yeah Levi I mean Booker um you know skip lunch and all that you know to go help Levi in gym class and um the teacher who was a substitute teacher, by the way. Why was my man looking like, I mean, acting like my, from Key and Peele? You know, the way he, he was more acting like Keel. You know, with the um, substitute video? Yes! I, you, you remember the video, man. I don't have to explain it. I'll play a clip right here. D-Nice. Is there a D-Nice? If one of y'all says some silly ass name, this whole class is gonna feel my wrath. Now, D nice. Do you mean Denise? Son of a bitch! You say your name right. <laughs> I love that video, man. And remember, they say they was gonna make a movie of that. Where that? Where, where is that movie at? I, I think they did. It was just nothing based on that video. So, yeah. So that storyline ends. You know, Booker realized. He um got too carried away about you know having fun at dodgeball. Yeah, just throwing the balls, eliminating everybody, and when it, and the way he was being cut, I felt like there was more students on Levi's team. It's like, wait, how many people on Levi's team? There's like 20 people. The way it was being cut, because Booker was just like throwing, you know, throwing it behind his back, under his legs, and all. That's like, dang, how many people on that on that team? Did Levi get more of the people? Um, so yeah. So they head home. And so does um Nia and um what Sam, Tess. You know, end up having a party with the eighth graders on the roof. And um downstairs in the apartment, Raven and Chelsea's in the um apartment room, and you know, the boss lady comes over and Raven and Chelsea get um, some dogs, you know, for Raven, you know, so um, the boss lady could pass off. Oh, this is these dogs who I randomly picked up, who Chelsea, I think, stole one, you know, pass off as Nia and Booker. So, yeah. And, and it ends up working. And so she leaves. And by the way, we finally know where this show takes place. It takes place in the summertime. The same time it premiered in the summertime. You know, she she did mention the fall, but are we gonna get a season two? Is Raven's Home gonna take place during the summer? Is each season gonna take place in the summer? So um 
And if that does, I would like to get a little skit. Not skit, like one shots, you know, of Raven and everybody else that take place in the fall or the new year. But um that was I was gonna say. Um one of the dogs Raven got is um freaks out to um phone calls. So she ends up taking the dog outside, you know, outside the um apartment and see here's the party that Nia and um Sam are having and she said, Wait, I'm there's a party on a Tuesday and I'm not invited And she ends up and another phone call happens, like who keeps calling her? Is it the guy who owns the dog? I don't know. So she ends up the dog ends up running upstairs and um Raymond is like tagged to the dog and she ends up going with her. It was like <laughs> now I know in many movies they use a dummy doll, but I would, I've always noticed that from married with children. It's like, you know that's a dummy doll that's getting pulled. <laughs> it was so funny. And so, before Raven gets up to the roof, Nia is like seeing Raven's face on the people saying that um, Raven is going to get her. Like, Booker said it earlier in school when he saw Nia with makeup. Ooh, you're going to get in trouble. You know how, you know, you, your brother or sister or, you know, a friend is like, I mean, sees your mom or dad come in and says, we need to talk. And then they have, if the if it's a friend, they end up have, have to leave the house and say, you're going to get in trouble. Sorry. Sorry, bro. Tell me what happens if you if you want to. But, um, yeah, so she ends up trying to kick everybody out, but Raven gets to the roof with the dog. And, um what ends up happening is like she ends up getting grounded for three weeks where well, originally it was going to be for two weeks but Raven says if you want to make your own choices it's going to be three weeks because she said oh I'm grounded for three weeks well and then that's when Raven said I was going to say two weeks but if you want to go with three weeks okay so I guess the next episode is going to take place three weeks later you know because you know the, they're not going to mention the grounded thing so yeah I guess Episode 6 is going to take place in 3 weeks after episode 5. Um, what else? Oh. When, um, Booker and Nia... Booker and Nia... Booker and Levi got home from school, Chelsea ended up leaving them under the table. You know, and she said... Chelsea said, don't... Don't ask any questions. Just get under the table. And Chelsea ends up leaving them... Leaving them under the table. It's like, and they, because they really wanted some cookies, huh? Did, like, um, did, every, did they forget that Chelsea's a bad cooker? Unless Chelsea's, the only thing she's good at is, is baking cookies, then I'm, I'm totally fine with that. And when it be vegetarian, wait, because isn't in the original show, Chelsea's a very te vegetarian? Unless, unless it's very te vegetarian cookies, then yeah, I could possibly see that. That even makes any sense. Vegetarian cookies. What? But anyway, you know, Raven and Nia have this heart-to-heart -heart moment. You know, you don't need makeup. You're perfect the way you are. Uh, even though they're still wearing makeup. Well, Raven, because he's old. I'm talking about, like, from our actors, you know, since they're acting, you know, they're wearing makeup. Maybe they're not. I doubt it. But, yeah, so... That's the ep the episode ends with you know Nia being grounded for three weeks. The kids are still under the table. I don't think you're gonna see the boss lady for a while since she said she was leaving. Um, the assistant, you know, the Raven's boss assistant, she was in the episode for a cameo. I don't think she's coming back. To um, what else? Oh, I remember. I just remembered. Remember. I mean, not remember. Tess in the episode mentioned that she's our only child. At least we not enough because in Kimmy had possible sisters because she's joking about having sisters, but she does have two brothers and Sam. Remember her sister, her twin sister, Melanie, or whatever how you say it. I was, I was right here. So um. Yeah, so, and Joey, 
has six other sisters. She's the only boy in the family. So at least this is Tess. You know, she's the only child. Now, before I go, I hope I just hope we keep we continue on, you know, because um Raven's home was at the beginning going up. I mean, going down. It started. No, it it was down, and then it went even further down. And then when it went to episode three, it said boot came up. The episode four went down. Episode five back to the same level as episode three. So keep it up. And. I'm out of here. Bye. It.